care about how many followers you got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you went out your way, reached out. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I feel like I got a dope story to tell. If I can yeah. help your platform in any type of way. For sure. I, man, that's, you know that what goes, what it's, it goes such a long way, and I appreciate that. And it's funny, too, because I, when I came back from Humboldt, I was talking mm-hmm. about my, my homie Fresh Mix. We had just talked about that. Like, he got, you know, a big, not a huge, huge platform, but like he verified on Instagram, a big following and everything. Thousands of people fuck with him. He makes, same thing. Like, I, there's so much similarities between you and him, bro. Yeah. It's like, it's crazy. Nah, because it's like, bro, like, I was never at the top of nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always started either, at, I always started at the bottom, worked yeah. my way up, and just separated myself from people. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I never, ever looked down on nobody who's mm-hmm. just starting, especially if they putting in this type of effort. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, it's the best. It's yeah. the best. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Hypocritical AF Podcast. I am your host, Albert Fig, and in this week's episode, I am joined with Chimdim Mez. What's up with it, bro? What's going on, my boy? Man. How you doing? Good. Good to finally meet. Yes, sir, man. I appreciate it, man. I got to say, I was looking at your story last night, and well, actually this morning, because I got up at work. I got up to go to work, and I had to work in, the, I don't know if you know where like Watsonville, Santa Cruz area is at. Yeah. It's like on the coastal area, right? I had to go out there. I got up at 4 a.m. to go over there. And I, I was up like, damn, I'm, you know, I got my coffee and everything. And I saw that you was in the studio putting in work. It was like 3, <laughs> some, 3.30, 3 something like, in the morning yeah, like, still. We didn't leave till like 5 a.m. Yeah, bro. I'm just now getting up and you're just like still right there, like progress in the works, in the works. Yeah. I thought that was super dope. Thanks, bro. And ironically, like I said, it was like today's the day that me and you were about to record. Yeah. So um, that's why I got my coffee right here. And so it's, la- it's a little later in the day for the ones man. that don't know and they don't see, but I got to get my coffee going, man. Yes, sir. I got to say off tops, bro. I got to tell you, I want to get to know you. Like, I got so much questions to ask you, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're very, very curious on, a, like, a bunch of different things that you do, all the things that you're creating and just everything, you, uh, you know, you got going on for yourself. But I want to tell you real quick about how I, and, you know, initially got into your page and f- I found you and everything. So yeah, I was curious about that. Yeah, yeah. Know, so, so trip out. So I got a bunch of people. Um, I guess you call them, like, like my, my homies and everything, but a few acquaintances and... You know, what I mean, a, f- a few um, other people in the creative space from like all over the place, Sacramento, um, Humboldt, L.A., Georgia, Alabama, just all over the place. Right. And I found that there's certain uh, there's like a certain gravity or like an energy that I just naturally gravitate towards. To. Yeah. You know, what I mean, like when I see people just out here doing what they're doing, whether it be videography, producing, uh, shooting creating content commercial i mean like commercial skits comedy skits or podcasting or even just like any type of artist in general i know what it takes to get into that because i'm in the space now but the vulnerability it takes to do everything right and i know the consist how important consistency is so um when i've i find myself constantly getting into the instagram's algorithm with that so i'm always getting recommendations for this and recommendations for that you know and, you know, we got a lot of people, you know, uh, what would you call them? Like um, similar acquaintances yeah, here in Sac and everything. Friends mutual friends, yeah. right? And yours popped up. And I went to it and there was one specific thing that popped out. Well, popped up to me is it said weekly beats. Keep your chin up Fridays. Yeah. When I saw you were outside by the uh, by the tower, you were outside by the by the uh, the bridge. You was in San Francisco. You was in, I think, La Jolla or something like that. San Diego. <laughs> right. You, you was everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. And I was like, hold on. What is this? I was keeping up with everything. And I was like, I was reading every little every caption. I was just like, this is like a weekly thing. Every Friday, he's doing this. And it's different. It's one thing to say it, you know, mm-hmm. and then it's another thing to actually physically do it and then see how you're doing it and seeing all these different locations. And you're like, have a goal to go to 200. And you have, you're like on 180 something, 190 something. And I was like looking at them when like in a deep dive on your page, you know? And I was just like, damn, like this, you know what I mean? Like he really doing this. And it reminds, <laughs> you know what it reminded me of too? What's up? I don't, uh, so I'm a big fan of Russ. I mean, that's how I, oh, got, actually, that's where I got it from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So actually, uh, I was going to hit you up too. I went to the, uh, at the Tiger, the after party. Yep. I saw that you were, well, I didn't see you there because mm-hmm. I, I dipped out a little early. But I saw on your stories, yeah, were you there? Yeah, no, nah, I was there. Okay, bro. you were there. I want to say I showed up, uh, what time I showed up, man? Probably probably around like 11 o'clock. Oh, oh okay, so we were- 30, yeah. Oh, damn, I must have missed you then. Yeah. I don't know how I missed you, tall as <laughs> shit. I'm like, damn, where's he at? But I saw that you were there, and I was just like, damn, I should have, that was like a time to go say what's up, you know what I mean? Yep. But um, I bring up Russ because, you know, he's famously known for putting out, like, what was it, two years with every single week he was dropping mm-hmm. songs and songs and songs on SoundCloud. You know, obviously we see- how big he is right now and instantly i thought of that and that's something i'm doing with this podcast too i made it a thing towards like yo no matter what's going on right what do you got going on in your family personal life or 
you know what I mean, uh, professionally or, you know, no matter what, I'm not missing a week. And yeah. I've been consistent with that. So right when I seen you doing that, I instantly was just like, I got to pick his brain. I got to like, bro. yeah. Nah, man, that's that's perfect. The funny thing is because um, I want to say it was Russ, Nipsey Hussle, mm. Gary V, yep. and Toby and Igwe all doing that same system. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh, th there was a point like when I didn't even know I was ever going to drop a beat. You know what I mean? Like, I was just like, hmm, how can I... Like, how can I get myself out there? I'm in Costa Rica right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not speaking Spanish at the time yet. So I'm just kind of like, how am I going to be able to get my music out there into the States? Yep. Especially when I don't know artists in Costa Rica like that. My mm. beats aren't that good yet. Mm. So I'm like, huh. Like, you know, I'm, I'm watching all these YouTube videos, listening yep. to a whole bunch of podcasts. And, mm -hmm. you know, the same thing that Nip, Everybody's Rest doing. in Peace, Russ, yep. all these people have in common is that, oh, Gary Vee, they're all so consistent. Yep. Um, I know what consistency brought me in, you know, being able to play professional sports. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, I just took that same methodology mm -hmm. and just did, you know, did it in the, um, and did it with music production. Yeah. Now that's a big, that's a big thing. And that's what I want to get into too. I want to get into more of your background and everything, but I wanted to give you that intro of like Appreciate how I came about to your page and everything. And, um, like we talked about initially setting up that, you know, just commenting right there, like, Hey bro, we would love to have you on and everything, you know, because I feel like a lot of times people you get, you know, missed opportunities or they would say, um, you know, speaking about sports and basketball specifically, they say, you know, you, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, uh -huh. you know? So I've always been a thing where it's just like, I'm not, what am I going to do? Be afraid to ask? You know, I reach out to a bunch, a bunch of people, man. I get, you know, I get respectively declines. I get, you know, left on red. I get, I mean, left on scene or whatever it is. And none of that bothers me because I understand like, you know, people are busy, you know what I mean? Yep. But you got to be the one to initially plant that seed, you know what I mean? Because they might not you know, get to it right now, but they see it, you know, they no, see the facts. attempt, you know what I mean? So yeah. that was one of the things I was like, I got to reach out to them, you know, whether it happens or not. I mean, I'll, I'll maybe I'll touch bases with them in a month or two, you know what I mean? And um, you hit me back and I was just like, yeah, we definitely got to set this up. Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Like I will never, like, I'm not going to leave, you know what I'm saying? I see yeah. you working hard. I see what you're doing. I got to yeah. show love, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Like, you never know. Maybe because I did this, maybe yeah. somebody else going, hey, bro, that podcast was dope. You know, yeah. even if it's one person who watches it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I feel like that's the way to, you know, just continually get better. You For know sure. What I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, this is something I want to practice on. I yeah. want to get better in my public speaking. I want to tell my Same. story. I want to <laughs> motivate people. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, it's I feel networking. Like this is the perfect outlet. Yeah. No, nah, it's networking, man. And and this is a platform, man. So uh, I know like a lot of people here in SAC, locally, a lot of people fuck with you. A lot of people know you. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of people that listen to this, you know, uh, whether it be on YouTube or just audio based, you know, it's a big, like the world is huge. You know what I mean? Yep. And you have a very specific and unique story, bro. Let's start first with um, your background in professional sports. And you know what I mean? I don't want to little, be a little ragged, <laughs> but I can relate a little bit, you know, yep. uh, <laughs> seventh grade, I won MVP flag football. No big deal. No big <laughs> deal. You know, but I can relate sports wise. Yep. But, but you, um, you a profes professional soccer player, right? Yep. Sac State alum? Yes, sir. Uh, you, you won an award too, right? Like athlete of the decade or a part of like... Yeah, I want to say... What what award was that, man? I want to just say it was... Uh, it was something... Not athlete the, of the decade, but it was... um Like a recognition. Man, it was like a... What do you call those, man? Like I'd know. have to look on my IG. Right, right, right. Can right. I do that real quick? Yeah, yeah, do your thing. Yeah, yeah. I looked at that too and I was like, yo, he's, some, he's like some type of recognition or just like maybe like a sack you know, alumni of the decade as far as like uh, sports wise, you know? Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but did you graduate in 2010? Like from high school? Yep. I did too. Where uh, where from? Well, I'm in the Central Coast. So okay. it's like King City is very, very small as shit, bro. Very, very small. And yeah, I graduated 2010. But um, there was one thing that you put on that on that post too. I remember reading. Oh, you be doing your research, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had to, <laughs> had to, man. Well, not like I'm telling you, but I'm genuinely like interested in you. You know what I mean? Appreciate that. And um, there was one thing that clicked for me and that resonated with me was that you said how much love you have for a sack because they brought you in as a walk-on. Yep. You know what I mean? And that was just basically like your intro. And for those of you that, that don't know or, you know, are not very familiar with sports, a walk-on is like the bottom of the, you know what I mean? You're like, yes, you're, not, you're not priority. You know what I mean? And a walk-on is like, yo, you're, you're, you're betting it all. You're putting all your all the chips on the table on yourself. You're betting on yourself. Right away, I'm like, that's dope, you know. So talk to me a little about that process and how everything went. Okay, like so. The funny thing about that, bro, I want to say, I was wrapping up my senior year of high school. Mm -hmm. Um, this, you know, obviously before college and whatnot. Yeah. I'm getting ready to. I'm, you know, I'm starting off camps. I'm mm -hmm. going to different camps. You know, trying to mm -hmm. get into some type of college program. Yeah. Um, 
you know, some of the few camps that I went to, mm -hmm. you know, they're telling me, you know what, you could probably play D3, D2 mm -hmm. or something like that. And, you know, I'm not really tripping. Yeah. Um, in my head, I'm like, I'm trying to play D1. Right, right. Um, so, you know, eventually I go to that Sac State camp. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, they show love. I want to say it was through a connect. One of my old coaches' names is. Yeah. Um, you know, he played for Sac State maybe like 10 years back with one of my cousins as well. Yeah. The, you know, current assistant coach, the current head coach as well. So, you know, he brought me in to watch. Um, you know, that's how I got my first introduction. Right, right. Funny thing, like, even way before then, man, I remember being like a Sac State ball boy, like when my cousin was playing. Uh, I saw you got fam oh, family, yeah. bunch, of, bunch of athletes in the family. Oh, so many. Oh, boys. man. It's ridiculous. You got that gene. You got the genes. <laughs> <Damn> <laughs> you know, that's what it is. <laughs> it's crazy. But, um, you know, fast forward to then, you know, I show well enough to at least get invited in a preseason camp. Mm. Um, and at, the funny thing, I remember my basketball coach in high school calling me just saying like, yo, Sonoma State's inter interested in you as well. Shit. So I'm just like, huh, you know, uh, that's pretty, like they were offering me a preferred walk-on spot as well. So yeah. I'm just like, you know, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. um, my decision came down to, okay, if, uh, you know, first of all, like dunking a basketball mm -hmm. versus scoring a goal. Scoring a goal is more impactful to me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, you know, just... It's you know, the the amount, yeah, the uh, amount difficulty. Of up, you know what I'm saying? Like the slightest error. Basketball's yeah. going back and forth. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. get a lot of those opportunities, but mm -hmm. that feeling of scoring a goal, it's like it's something damn, different. like it's different. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So accuracy. Uh, no, nah, I'm saying so. Yeah. Um, that's kind of just my decision in the mm -hmm. going to you know pursue soccer. Hell yeah. But the minute that coach told me like, "Yo, you're in a preseason camp," mm -hmm. like I already thought I was on the team. Like yeah. Not, I didn't think nothing else of it, bro. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, I'm on. I'm on the team. I'm already here." For sure. Um, so, you know, I'm getting prepared for it. Um, one of my uncles, he's training me. Mm. Um, you know, I'm doing all the extras. I'm doing, like, the workout book, all that other kind of stuff. Um, fast forward, we get into uh, preseason camp towards the end of it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, at the end, they let me know, like, yo, you made it. I was like, I made Like, Damn. what you talking about? Damn. I thought I was already on the team. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So I was like, cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, man, that was that was my intro into walking on at Sac State. I That's played dope. as a true freshman. Mm -hmm. um, at forward, too, right? Yep. Yep. Um, played as a true freshman. Uh, we won the N the MPSF title. Yep. Um, I want to say we beat Santa Clara first round of the NCAA. Come on now. We, uh, what did we do? We lost to UCLA in the second round. Mm. Um, you know, so I had a, I had a pretty good That's season. Big you, know, I'm, you know, I'm playing. I'm, yeah. I'm doing well. Um, For sure. We have two guys get drafted into the MLS that year. And that's when I realized, like, oh, shit, like, I could, you mean I can get drafted out of Sac State? Like, yeah. you know, that was the dream, you know, but just actually seeing it, like, yeah. kind of lit a fire on me. But For the sure. funny shit, bro, is the following season I got cut. Damn. You know what I'm saying? After playing as a true freshman, mm. I get cut. I'm devastated, bro. Oh, yeah. That shit going to hit you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, obviously the whole bunch of ups and downs in that situation. But regardless, I came back, came back strong, found a way, and I ended up, you know, getting drafted. That's that's amazing. You know, there's bro. obviously a lot of little things that happened in yeah, that period yeah. of time, but like it's man, sports. You know what I'm saying? It, to me, it was just it was crazy that I was still able to find a way to get drafted as a mm -hmm. as a player who came in as a walk on. Yep. You know, I never got disrespected or nothing like that, but as a walk on player, you kind of feel a little inferior to like the mm. to the scholarship athletes. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Even if you're playing more than them, you just like, damn, bro. Like I'm Yo, over here. I mean, you're already playing with the chip on your shoulder. Exactly. Right. So you know it's what I'm like, saying? I'm over here uh, hustling any type of way I can. Mm -hmm. Like. Like, uh, I'm cutting hair. I'm over here. Uh, I just got a job busy. at Nike over the summer. I'm over here selling knives for Cutco. Yep. <laughs> uh, just grind life. A whole, all this hustle shit. I've always yeah. been an entrepreneur, bro. So I, that shit's fun for me. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So it's nothing. But it just like, man, it would have been just nice to get a full, you know, a full ride. You know what I'm full saying? Full ride scholarship. You know just like. Something, just a light little yeah, full scholar. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I could at least tell people about the shit. Yeah, bro. I hated saying I was a walk-on. You know, what yeah. I mean? I mean, but even but in that, in bro, you know what I'm saying? It's that, different. That's what I'm saying. Even in that, bro, like mm -hmm. that already just saying, like, yeah, I was a walk on. That's already just like, again, for the people that don't know, that is already levels above so much people. You oh, know what I mean? Facts. That's like something like I know, speaking of, as a person, I've always been a big fan of sports. I just never had the goddamn jeans for it. I don't never, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I never had the body for it and everything. But my work ethic was there always, yeah. even into, into doing this. You know what I mean? So, even like I said, even, um, Saying that is, I mean, it's, it's again, levels ahead. Yep. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And that's actually, now that I think about it too, I've always wanted to ask this um, from a person who's played professionally in sports, man. Do you feel like what you're doing, and actually, be, before I even give that, let me give some context, bro. Uh, November 26, 2017, you gave yourself a birthday gift, and you dropped, you basically publicly put out your first beat 
and it was when you started yep. keep your chin up chip your, keep your chin up fridays yep november 26 2017 it's almost four years now i know bro four years Still. And, yeah four Still years is coming up in like two three weeks man that's so um I, I i wanted to give that little um some put some context behind it because i'm wondering now do you do you think there's a different level of grind like putting that professional grind mode that you got and putting it into this production and producer and artist flow or, or just being a creator is that is like is there a different level of grind or do you just apply that same grind that you had into this bro, i apply the same shit to literally yeah. everything i do mm -hmm. like if i fuck with something bro yeah like i dive in deep you yep. know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. i'll be tucked in on youtube university oh, yeah. learning everything i can yep. about it same. i'm asking other homies who you know have done uh, similar things I'm, and i'm always gonna show love like for sure with everything bro like Mm -hmm. I'm not really afraid to ask. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Same. saying? Like, because you know, if I use the information you give me, I'm gonna make you look good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a give you your flowers and be like, yo, like so and so put me on. He didn't have to. And it's the same thing that I always talk about too. Is just about elevating. Yeah. You know I mean, like if you can get everybody on the same, not necessarily on the same boat, but if you elevate everybody, everybody rises. You know yeah. what I mean? So I feel that, man. And um, yeah, I wanted to ask that too because. I also can relate, like I said, to that, is that, that that grind mode. And another thing, too, I don't know if you ever noticed this or not, but I never noticed. Um, it's so easy for, like, you and I, for example, to be like, oh, I'm just grinding. I'm just grinding. But yeah. you don't know, you don't realize how much you're actually grinding until you're around other people who think they're grinding. And then you look at them, at least from my perspective, and I'm like, oh, bro, we're not. We're, I'm, we're in levels. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, not to sound, you know, cocky or bra braggadocious, but it's like, you think you're grinding and you think you're doing your work, bro, I'm, a, I'm like right here. You know, I'm showing you. And like, mm -hmm. I'm not to say that you're like, I'm the best in the world or anything like that, but I have that attitude. No, you know what I'm saying? Facts. And it's like I said, it's not a cocky or braggadocious thing. I'm just confident in myself and everything I do. Yes, sir. So I know, I know you can relate with that. No, nah, facts. I would say more so, um, you know, like I'm not really comparing my grind to nobody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just kind of feel like, mm, I wouldn't say I'm comparing, but... I do feel like I'm, I separate myself in everything I do. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, yeah. Um, and I'll give you the same game. Like, if you want to know what I'm doing, yeah. literally just ask me. Like, I'm yeah, an open same. book. You yeah, know, yeah. until that course come out. But, but uh, <laughs> yeah. But, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, just ask, bro. Like, I'm, I'm it easy to get hurt. a hold of. It don't it hurt. hurt. Yeah. Like, I'm in no competition yeah, yeah. whatsoever, bro, because I feel like I'm literally in my own lane. Yeah. You know what I mean? And everything I do, regardless of how many things, how how many similar things may pop up, yeah. I just know how much attention to detail and how meticulous I am with certain things. Yep. And that it's like, if I'm going to go into something, I'm mm -hmm. not just, I'm not going to bullshit, bro. Right, like, right. I'm, I'm actually trying to learn and really build a strong foundation before, you know, before going in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's key. Like I said, it's key that you have that, bro, because I'm telling you, like, I've I've been around people, you know what I mean? Like, I, I see when, when they say, like, I'm in it. Like, I got my all in it, you know? And um, you could see that they're not really. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. And um, that will, uh, you know, in long terms, I mean, it's your ROI. You know, it's your return on investment on yourself. And you'll be, you'll be able to see how much it it escalates and it goes over time. You know what I mean? Like, to quote, you know, the great Kobe Bing, RIP. He was, uh, I listened to, same thing, a bunch of YouTube stuff. And I find motivation in for whatever reason, certain interviews, yep. I just get motivated. I mean, I don't know if you find that same thing too, but I've just day. watched inspirational talks or TED talks too at, at a time, you know? But there was one thing he said, um, he was saying like, all right, um, he's like, say if I get up at 4 a.m. to get a two hour practice where I work on it, all right, I'm already started from the morning. And then if I do another one in the afternoon, 12 to two, something like that, now I got two workouts in. And then in the evening, I might get another two, right? Yep. He's like, so I get three workouts in in a day. He's like, now, if my, uh, you know, teammate or adversary or whoever, let's just say they're barely getting up at 10 and they get one in and then maybe they might scramble, you know, to a second one in, in, uh, in a day. So you're already ahead of one workout. Mm -hmm. He's like, so now if we keep that same consistency and same pace over the course of four years, yep. I'm like leaps and bounds ahead exactly. of them. Exactly. Just and that compound interest. That's the thing. Yep. Yeah. That's the thing, bro. And, um. About that, man. So the keep your chin up Fridays, bro. A hundred. What, what? Which one are you on? Like one hundred ninety? Uh, nah, bro. I'm on two hundred and. Oh, you passed two hundred. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm oh, damn. Yeah, bro. I'm on like uh. I'm tripping. I thought it was like one ninety something. I think two oh six this Friday. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. That's How like did two oh eight is a when you drop four. when you it's from from when you drop that first one mm -hmm. and producing and making the beats, which by the way the beats slap. You feel me? Check out the website, yes, Kim Chilla Beats. Um. Link is in his bio, <laughs> and um, and that. I'll put it right here at the bottom so y'all can see and check it out. Yeah. But um, how did that 
talk to me about how that came about, like from the first one you dropped to, to, to be consistent and what was the mentality going into it? Like, all right, I'm going to do this every single Friday. Man, funny thing, bro. I want to say before the uh, the first one, I want I got into producing after my first year of professional soccer. Mm. Um, you know, before then, bro, I was always just, you know, I'd be with my teammates in the crib mm -hmm. and we'd just be watching hella shows. Like, yeah, yeah. I remember watching Entourage twice. <laughs> yeah. I remember watching Power Season 1 came out that year. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh whole bunch of movies yeah video games whole yeah, yeah. stuff like that and at at that time you know i was i remembered the feeling i got my first time being in the studio with one of the homies mm. at sac state um, yeah. his name's nick taylor his old rap name used to be kiss swag okay sounds familiar yeah sounds he, familiar. he had like a nice buzz going to sac state yeah, he's yeah. on the sac state track team um him and the homie dj uh, amar they, okay yeah, uh, yeah yep they brought me to they brought me to the stew and it was just a clean vibe i saw his uh producer hollis yeah create a beat from scratch and in that moment, I was like, damn, like that was it. It was it was unreal to me, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I I just saw something being created from absolutely nothing. Yep. Watching the producer do that, watching Nick Wright, who's mm -hmm. in there all day. I didn't even notice the time go past. Yeah. <laughs> then um I wanna say, uh, what is it? You know, like uh during that first season, I'm like, man, I need to do something more productive. You right. know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm doing all my extra work on the soccer field, but as soon as we come home, shutting it down oh yeah you know what i'm saying we watching it we chilling the rest yeah, of the yeah. day yeah yeah um you gotta just, work out that creative mind not exactly we're chilling just doing all that so that's when i you know started getting on youtube and mm -hmm. you know looking up different things about producers watching people making beats and i want to say that was right when uh metro booming oh like, yeah was going on that crazy run oh yeah so yeah. you know just kind of watching that and just you know learning more about metro like he didn't go to school for this nah you know what i'm saying like he just learned this from other producers um I'd just be watching his YouTube videos. I'd be watching Zaytoven making beats Zaytoven, live. Yeah. Uh, who Sunny else, Digital. Man? Sunny Digital. You uh, know what's funny? Not to interrupt, I apologize. But mm -hmm. you know what's funny is that I literally just, just today, I listened to uh, the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast, and they just had Metro Boomin on. It was like oh, 50 yeah. minutes. They, I haven't watched it yet. but Bro, he, he, talk, he, he talks about that. He talks about his mom used to take him to Atlanta, mm -hmm. like as a teen, 13, 14. And he talked about like how um, his, his mom and his grandparents and everything, they wanted him to... You know do, do something like educate they didn't want to be like oh you ain't finna be no rapper like rappers aren't successful so he said that um not to give everything away but you know but he was saying like how the way he tricked them into getting the support is that he would tell them i want to be a music producer because it sounded more professional yeah so he was getting that support and he talked about that all the influences and everything from like you know tip drills or even um you know master p the no limit crew and everything he talks yeah. about all that that's fire bro yeah and i can relate to that too bro that, that there was a certain like again that certain error that you're talking about it was a time where, I mean, like 2015, 2016, when all that shit was just like trapped, you know what I mean? It was just, oh, yeah, yeah, the production man. and everything, right? Yeah, Crazy, yeah. man. I want to say that was when like 56 Nights came out, yep. that future. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, that year was, it was, it was crazy, man. Yeah, like, Dirty Sprite 2. I remember when Dirty Sprite 2 came out, that was a big. It came out that year too, actually, yeah, I want to say. big thing. Yeah, future was on a crazy run. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Future always going crazy. Yeah, man. he's always, even to this day, he's going to be, he's going to be a GOAT for sure, mm -hmm. especially in Atlanta. Um. But yeah, yeah, not uh, not to cut you off again to, to talk about that, but yeah. you were you were saying about that, you know, hearing Zay, uh, uh, Metro Boom and Zayto and Sunny Digital and everything else. Yeah, that's what inspired me to kind of just you know like just figure it out. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I don't need to go to no music school. I don't have right. a music background. Yeah. Um, like if I would have told you I would be making beats today, I would have. I like I even remember like downloading FL Studio a yep. long time ago, and it looked like a different language. Like yeah. I must have been like fourteen. I think I must have plugged, like you know, plugged in like yeah, just yeah. The, the stock sounds and yeah, yeah, and it makes sense. You know, what I mean, I just put it away. I feel like everybody, low key, at some point in their life, wanted to be some type of beat maker, producer. Oh, you know what I mean, it like so dope. Cause it, just yeah. seeing people hit. I got a little NPC too, a little small one too, and I be fucking with it. It's been a couple years, but you know what I mean. But there was a time where I was just like, you know, I'm making a little something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it starts from like you could be, you know, what I mean, I, I don't want to make noise because it, it'll be on the mic, but you could be at, at school and everything. You just you know at the bench kicking it. You making little beats and everything oh, yeah. like that, you know, a little, little with your pencil, little the drums and everything. Beat, yeah, yeah, the grinding yeah. beat. Everybody <laughs> used to do that. that. Clips, <laughs> <laughs> but bro, yeah. So um, that thing, like I said, I'm, I was just curious to know about that because when, when you, when I seen you doing that, bro, and it was just it's simple. Mm -hmm. It's just you. It's a table. You got your, what? What you use? A little NPC too? What is Man, that? Man, I want to say a it is a, I have a what kind of M Audio twenty five mm. key. I got a forty nine key as well. Yeah, and you know, just depending. I love whichever it. one I feel like bringing, I'll just bring it. I love the simplicity of it, but also showing you, I mean, you just, 
like I said, outside, no matter what we're doing, go. And just to see that, I was mm-hmm. just like, nah, he really doing this for like the passion of it. You know what I mean? Nah, facts, man. I think yeah. it's just a different way of kind of, you know, I just, I wouldn't say I was trying to be different, mm-hmm. but you know, I ended up creating a little thing that, you know, works for me. Yeah. And at the same time, it kind of gives a visual to the beats. Yeah. Um, I feel like it got your attention, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you I'm know t- what I'm saying? That's like, what it did. And not just that, bro. Mm-hmm. It, it got me literally watching that. And I like, I'm not just saying this just to say it, you know what I mean? Because I'm trying to like be like, oh, he's only saying that because here I'm being like dead ass serious. When I saw that and, and you was doing the outside stuff, I it made me want to be like, I got to do outdoor stuff. Yeah. Like I want to do pop-ups here or do like an outside podcast or, you know, Whatever it was, but it just seen that motivated me to be like, I got to step up my shit too. Oh, no, that's love, bro. So, yeah. It's like, you know, I didn't, I didn't even mean to go outside. It was just like, yeah. you know, that was just my way of checking in with myself and making sure I get at least one beat a week. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even it's like, creative. Bro, like, even right now, bro, like, bro, I don't feel like making beats every day. You know what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, real I feel shit. It. Yeah. But at the minimum, I'm going to always have at least one mm-hmm. just to make sure that it's like, okay. Yeah. Like, this is my weekly podcast in a sense. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This is how I'm going to make sure I get to where I want to go even when I don't feel like doing it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, the that's a thing. I mean, like I said, it, it's just, it's something different. You mm-hmm. know, it's going to catch a person's eye. It's going to catch a person's attention. And, and it's going to make them want to be like, how how long is this going to be kept up? You know, because mm-hmm. a lot of people will follow some stuff just to see it not go through. You know, it might get some hate and everything. But a lot of people will follow to be like, man, he's really doing it. You yeah. know, like I said, that that consistency is infectious and it, and it trickles on to like everybody, again, myself included. Exactly, man. Yeah. I think that's the important thing about it. It's like, it's not necessarily only about the music, but somebody else may be watching it and it's like, okay, I need to apply this to my life. Yeah. And, um, like I'm seeing what consistency has brought Chim so far yep. in terms of the growth. Now I can use his formula Yeah. and, you know, and go bring it into something else, maybe yeah. photography, maybe video, literally anything, 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 creating. Yeah, just creating anything that you actually want to do and yeah. you're passionate about. There's a way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, that's what that's what's got you like on this role, bro. Like I said, you you got your you, you got your merch, you got um, your website, you have a spot where you sell your beats and everything. You're in the studio, um, and just recently, which I'll touch on a bit a little bit later, but you even drop. You're even. Uh, like the first episode of Creator, you yeah. know, like a little bio. What is it? What would you call that? Like a bio, man, bio that's, pick or? Nah, that's the homie uh, Maurice Jordan, man. Mm-hmm. I, and my, he's one of the coldest videographers mm-hmm. in the city, bro. Yeah. And um, you know, I want he uh, he would uh, he does like a lot of basketball highlights, a lot yeah. of sports stuff. He used to play professional basketball, and mm-hmm. you know, uh, recently retired, like maybe less than a year ago, less than two years ago. Then would do like a whole bunch of basketball highlights for a whole bunch of the other cousins and homies who's you know playing pro ball as well. Right, right. And I was blown away by his production. Oh so yeah. I just I reached out to him and I was like, bro, like creative. Wanted, like I have never I've never seen a basketball highlight video yeah. like this. Like he had something where, like, the homie Barry was throwing a basketball and yeah. he caught it himself, then cashed it in the corner. I'm like, bro, how'd you do this? Like, what kind of edit is that? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'll show it to you. I, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think about that shit all the time. That's what. See, that's what I'm I'm on the same shit. Like yeah. I'm not I'm not the again, not to cut you off again, but I'm not I'm not necessarily a videographer and mm-hmm. everything, but all those little snippets, the edits, the little commercial skits that I shot and everything, I do it here. And I do you all know, that right you here. know the work that I know takes, the work, you know bro, the saying? amount like, of time it goes into, you know what I mean? I'm saying, and you know, yeah. just seeing that, um, you know, I reached out to him and be like, bro, your shit's cold. Like mm-hmm. hit me. Like uh, I got, you know, I got beats for you or for whatever. Sure. And you know, we already have mutual friends. Yeah, yeah. Um I was like, bro, you need any beats for your video? Just let me know. Then, that's you know, right. that's how we, you know, created that relationship. That's then, dope, man. you know, he tapped in with me just, uh, you know, seeing all the workout, seeing the, the he's like, bro, we got to do something. So he he started a, a mini docu-series yep. called Creator. Yep. That was episode one. Episode one. And, um, you know, like. We'd love to he, see that, bro. Yeah. we love to fucking see that, man. It's, that's so dope. It's cool to just see that that connection, that network and everything. Yep. And to see um, the way it came out, because I checked it out, it's like, you know, a little under five minutes, you know, mm-hmm. something like that. And um, that episode one, man, when you did the little preview type of thing, yeah. I was already like, that quality already is like top notch, you oh, can tell. Qual- quality is everything. Everything right now. Like, not in in everything, bro. Like, yeah. I do, like... At, like First one, just, yeah. all your beats. Yep. All your beats. Exactly, yeah. you know, so... Um, you know, at least I want to get into scoring films and doing mm-hmm. stuff like that too. Same, so same it's too. pretty cool doing that. And mm-hmm. you know, I'm for sure gonna tap in with the homie Mo and yeah. you know, have him be a part of anything that I'm trying to score. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to expand to that too and just kind of get those creative juices flowing. You know what I mean? And make those connections and um, just overall networking. So I definitely want to get into that too. I feel you, bro. 
Um, but let's talk about your merch for a little bit, yeah. bro. Yeah. How did like Chimchilla you got, <laughs> came out of nowhere, man? Bro. The name, what is like? I mean, it makes sense, you know. Yeah. It, it's close to you, but like, talk to me about that too. And I'm curious on this one too because I'm just now starting to get into the merch game. You know, like yeah. I want to do with the podcast. I've been talking about it for months, but it's it's a lot that goes into it man so <laughs> much bro like i had no idea how much yeah. like shout out to all the homies that's creating merch man like mm -hmm. big love and respect for y'all man i did not know everything that y'all was doing mm -hmm. in order to do that show that support yo mm -hmm. show that support for sure yeah yeah tell me about all that man so you want like chimchilla i'm trying to i want to say chimchilla came about when was it like a nip, nickname or something bro it like I don't think I gave it to myself, but Someone I remember I just it. I needed like an IG name. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, okay, so, okay, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Like it was literally it. it was when IG dropped, maybe in 2000. It had to be 2010 when I created an IG. Damn, I didn't get into IG till like 2013, 12, dog. Man, some man, I think it was then, bro. I want to yeah, say yeah. it was my, nah. Actually, it was 2000, 2011. Actually, mm, yeah. I remember you know just some of the homies at the crib. I want to yeah. say the homegirl, uh, my homegirl Krista, had told me like, yo, you you know about this app IG? I was yeah. like, nah. She <laughs> yeah. pulled it up, and then I was like, well, I'll create one. Okay, so I was just yeah. trying to come up with a name. With a cool name. Everybody wanted a cool name that's going to stick, you know, right? Exactly. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was like, man, I'm relaxed. And I was like, chill, Chim. Then mm -hmm. I was like, Chim. Chim. Then I think I said Chim Chilla, but I want to yeah. say that I was talking to my sister, and I want to say that she said that she gave it to me. I can't I can't remember, bro. It stick. I, but it stuck. You yeah, know, somebody, it stuck. I, I, I should I, say it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, no. My fault, bro. <laughs> you good. But, uh, but yeah, so... Um, that's where Chim Chilla came That's from. That's dope. You know what I mean? I yeah, didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Back then, I didn't know I was gonna be a producer, bro. Nah. It was just an IG name. Yeah, yeah. The, those are the ones, like I said, that that's that stick. Or mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, I try to find a name for myself too, bro. I didn't. You know, I couldn't. You know, fuck. My name is basic as fuck. Albert Fig. So you know, it's just short for my last name, Figueroa. Nah, that's, Fig, that's you know all mean? you need. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like any anything to just okay. That's that's it. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? But nice so you simple. got that, and you put it, bro. I like the fact that you can, like I said, I got a bunch of homies too that, that are in the merch game. And, um, and I feel like even in that, does it, I'm not going to say a fan, but like, is it a, is it a, is it disrespectful to just be like merch because it's really a brand, right? You know what? I call it merch. Yeah. You know, you don't feel anything like, nah, not at all, yeah. bro. Like, like uh, the homie brought it up. He was like, man, like you created merch that's like a clothing line. Like, yeah. your shit's a clothing line, bro. I'm really? like, yeah. That wasn't even the plan, bro. I was just dropping. I was like, you know, uh, the homie AJ, he got a brand called Mawa. Mm. And, you know, I loved everything that he was doing, man. And, mm -hmm. you know, like, big shout out to him because he, you know, he he, he really showed me the game. Like, he he showed That's me dope. exactly what to do. And I just, you know, went away went with, with it, it and started, you know, I was spending a lot of time in L.A. this year. Oh, yeah. Me so, too. you know, I was just, you know, just learning. Um yeah. So that's kind of just where the merch came from. I had no idea I was going to do merch even Damn. as far as three, four months ago. Damn, really? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I didn't even have a logo at the end of my videos. Damn. Like, the videos were just end of the black screen on the beat. Yeah, yeah. And it was still fire to me. But as yeah. so, for some reason, I want to say I took a, you know, I was taking courses like on branding and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what, mm. man? Like, we almost four years in. Let me get a logo. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's official. Yeah, I, I mean, you see the fit? logo. Y'all see the oh, fit? Yeah. Yes, sir, <laughs> yeah, I see man, the trying fit, bro. to. <laughs> yeah, that's the dope, Got to make sure the quality A1, yeah. man. Like. That's it. You know, it's, again, too, I got, um, so I got people that reach out, too, and they're telling me, you know, you should do this and you should do that. But my thing was like, bro, I didn't want to make, <laughs> I didn't want to just brush something and just put it out just to put it out. Because yep. people hit me up like, yo, you should do merch already, you know? And I, my thing was like, I'm just trying to do it when it's like, I got to make sure that both things line up. I got to make sure the quality is like there, but also I want to. Do it at a time where I feel like it's like, all right, now's the time. Yep. Not necessarily something I want to rush into, you know what I mean? And I know a bunch of people. So in Sacramento, shout out, shout out to Sac, man, first of all, because there's so much creatives out there and yep. so much people that have their own brands and that are pushing everything, you know? So it's like when you see that, it kind of makes it like this is possible too when you see it locally, you yep. know? Because because then it's just like, oh, it's not. It doesn't seem like it's that hard. Nah, but then it's kind of like- it's not. That it's it's not hard, bro, yeah. but it's a lot of work. It's a double-edged sword because yeah. then it's like you're looking at it like it doesn't seem that much mm -hmm. until you get into it. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. And that that's what's um what's crazy about it. But um yeah, yeah, tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, bro. Um let me see. Where was we? Where was we? We um, were saying, Oh, you finally got after you finally got the the brand, you know what I mean? And, oh, okay. Yeah. So man, I like, you know, we was talking earlier, like, bro, I watch so many different podcasts. Right. Um, I'm a huge fan of Earn Your Leisure. Yeah. Um, I'm a huge fan of uh 
uh, what's his name? David Shan's Social Proof Podcast, mm -hmm. Millionaire Mindsets, um, yep. a whole bunch of them. You know what I mean? And it was EYL. They had a merch episode. Mm. And, you know, I watch EYL every single week. Yeah. You know what I mean? They have Dedicated. multiple videos. I be watching so much. I've learned so much from them. Right. Um, but that merch episode, you know, I was like, damn, like, mm. this is dope. You know, eventually I do want to drop merch. I didn't know exactly when, but mm -hmm. it wasn't until I created the logo and saw the logo. I was like, you know what? That's nice. It's simple. Um, like that's going to, that's going to look dope on a hat. It's going to look yeah. dope on clothing. It's going to look dope yeah. on a whole bunch of stuff. Let me go back to that EYL episode. Mm -hmm. Um, I watched it again. It just made so much more sense in that moment. Mm -hmm. Um, David Shands had a podcast with this, uh, this influencer named Mrs. Two Weeks Out. Um, mm -hmm. what's she, that? I want to say she did like a million dollars in her first year of doing it. Um, I'll send you the link after, but yeah, it's please. Crazy one. Um, Damn. First this, year. Uh, the other dude, like I watched her video. She literally, I was like, "Damn, like this is dope." Like yeah, yeah. She, 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 like it wasn't no bullshit. Like she, mm -hmm. she kept it so real, and it just made so That's much dope. sense. Yeah. Then uh, another one that I watched was I want to say, um, Ash Cash brought on uh, Justin P. Justin Phillips. He mm -hmm. has the uh, the Black Colleges brand. Okay. And bro's a beast. Like he, Ooh. like the way that he speaks about. You know, like the knowledge that he has on, yeah. you know, building the clothing brand, building up the brand inside of things. I was blown away. That's you know amazing. what I mean? I copped this book like right after. Got it. Um, so, you know, I feel like I learned mostly everything between the homie AJ, a few of those podcasts. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, as soon as I felt like I had enough of a foundation, I was like, okay, you know, um, I know where to go. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I did that. I didn't really have any idea of what colors I was going to do yet. When I mm -hmm. got in there, I was like, oh, shit, there's hella options there. There's colorways. You know they like mean? shoes, right? Nah, facts, man. I, I, I was with my girl, and I was like, oh, I yeah. need this, I need that. She was like, nah, like, we gotta, let's go <laughs> yeah, back yeah. and actually figure out exactly how we're right, going right. to do this. Um, we ended up doing that. Then, um, you know, I went in with the plan. I kind of knew, okay, I want to start off with these colors first. I had some extra samples as well that I wanted to do. Um, I ended up finding a t-shirt supplier in that area who had some super high-quality tees. Yeah. And they also had some, I, I don't want to say lower quality tees because they're still high quality. Right, right. But budget like, friendly? Bu budget friendly, but fire. Okay, yeah. They're fire, bro. That's but a good combo, like, too. <laughs> you know, like I was choosing, like, do I want these budget friendly joints mm -hmm. or do I want to, you know, pay even more to get that? To get that quality I'm looking for. I was thinking right, about right. going half on half because I was like, you know what? Like, I'm going to make a killing on these budget friendly joints because right, right. they're still fire. But I was like, you know what? Nah, I'm not going to do that. Cause it, I, I didn't get the budget friendly joints. Okay, I yeah, got yeah. the more expensive ones, mm. but the quality on the like you know I'm proud to wear right. them. Like I, I was like, oh, these is him. You, you know could what I mean? feel you could feel the difference, but, and it's like a direct representation or reflection of yourself. Exactly. You know what I mean, I feel that. I know exactly what you mean. Like yeah. bro, they don't shrink, they don't yeah. fade, they heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. Um, and every single person that gets that shirt, mm -hmm. every single person that's copped the shirt is like, bro, what kind of shirt is? You know, I've had hella people yeah. hit me like, bro, like where you get these? I need these. I like the yellow ones. That's all the yellow ones oh, and the yellow cream hats. Joints. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, you talking about the the hats? They just sold out, bro. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I saw them and I was like, yeah, those are. You <laughs> nah, can tell. Appreciate that. Bro. Yeah, yeah. That's love right there, bro. Yeah, that's uh, it's one big aspect that I like. I said just uh, selfishly, I was curious in. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be curious as well, but I was. Like, like, how did this come about? How did, how did, you know, which direction you went and everything too? So it's a lot of good insight information on that. Yep. Um, so solid. Like I said, big ups to you on that, bro. Cause I Thank know you, that shit ain't easy. Like, oh, like I said, cause I'm getting man. into it, but like you, you doing your thing for nah, sure. I got you, bro. Any, any questions you got, yeah, just yeah. let me know. Um, yeah. another thing, bro, was, um, what was it? It was, uh, you know, like as soon as I saw how dope everything came out, bro, I was, re I was like, all right, bro, yeah. I'm, I'm going out the trunk with it. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm going on IG saying, oh, I got hat. Like, nah. You went, you did a pop up at the Flight Kicks. Oh, is yeah. it Flight Kicks? Nah, not Which Flight Kicks. Um, kick? Which one was it? It's the homies uh, at Fame. It's, um, damn. Uh, I, come, it's, it's the, I was supposed to go to it. The reason why I, I said that too, I was going to initially, I see Plus was there too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was going to, I literally was going to, I forget what happened. I think something happened with work, but I got called in or some shit like that. But I was going to, I was going to go pop up. And then afterwards I seen you at Posty, you was there. And I was like, damn, I could have fucking said what's up to him. You know what I mean? I missed <laughs> nah, out on that one. Yeah, man. I got, nah, the, the homies over there, you know, they're yeah. killing it. Like yeah. once a month, uh, just a whole bunch of fly stuff everywhere. It's called Fly Market. There by you the way. go. Yeah, fly I'll keep market. thinking. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was dope, bro. Like, yeah. why Mike he, does it? Huh? White Mike, you know White Mike? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he does them over there, too. Yeah, So man, I remember so that, too. I, You know, before even all that, bro, I remember I, I wanted to go out the trunk with it, but my mm -hmm. girl was like, 
no, nah, I think you should, you know, be more professional with it. Open yeah. up a website. I'm like, nah, I can sell these right now and flip yeah, yeah. all of these. <laughs> like, like off the rip, mm -hmm. off of the quality. Yeah. But nah, like, so, you know, I went on YouTube University, mm -hmm. figured, learned about Shopify. Yep. I watched like an hour long video on Shopify. And after that hour, bro, I knew, you know, everything I, you know, I knew enough about enough. Shopify to right. open up my store, make it look appealing. And you know, really create something that mm -hmm. looked very professional. And I was like, "Damn, yeah. like it's that e-commerce, bro." Yeah, I could have like, I could have paid somebody to do this, and mm -hmm. it, you know, it would have ran me up. But I yeah, literally, yeah. I watched, I took the time to really learn. And it's yeah. like, damn, like there's people who think that I paid somebody. To, nah, I, I, I created that site. You know, I, yeah. I created the site. I created That's the. Dope, I did. I did everything for it. And you know, it just came together organically, yeah. bro. And you know, what's funny too about that is that. I can relate to that too. Again, man, I feel like I'm always saying this episode. I, I didn't say it like six, seven times, you know, Trey. But I, I said it like I can relate. But it's true, bro. There's so much stuff I find like I like I'm like in agreement and connect with you, and I feel with you on that because yeah. even so, I built up the website for the podcast too, hypocriticalaf.com, and uh, I use Squarespace, right? Yeah. And um, it's simple for the most part, you know, drag and drop templates and everything. But um, I was using off a promo code on a podcast, bro. I, I got, I used, it was like a month of, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's called Skills, Skillshare, Skill Builder, oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, I got a month really, free. Like impact theory you'd be talking yeah. about all the time. I used a promo code to get one month free. Mm -hmm. Bro, I took advantage of that. I was I was taking like web designs. I was taking like um, uh, uh, e-commerce stuff like yep. that, you know, just to get into it. And then I saw, I picked up on one and it was free. It was just like learn Squarespace, you know what I mean? And I didn't know shit about Squarespace. And then I listened to another podcast <laughs> that gave me, uh, like twenty percent off my first my first annual, yep. you know what I mean? Because you got you know, pay for it for a year and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, I got the the do I, I I purchased the domain and um, I got my website going and everything yep. and everything's updated right there, bro. So I know that process too. And mine's not necessarily the the most professional looking one, you know what I mean? But same thing like you, I built it myself, you know what yep. I mean? And it's the thing, but you know, it goes into what we talk about being like the creativeness and and getting everything is that. You and I are the same as that. We're doing everything like dolo. Oh, you yeah. You know what I mean? No, nah, yeah. I wouldn't even say, I can't say dolo, bro, just because it's like, bro, we got YouTube. We got all these that, people yeah, on true, YouTube. Like, true. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm damn yeah. near, you could damn near create a team off of the people off YouTube yeah. and Fiverr. The community. Oh, yeah. Fiverr's a plus one, you too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're right on that one. Yeah. But it's like, it's 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 so much knowledge that uh, that's out there, you know, for the people that like, that are curious about just... Like anything or any, any, have any questions for creating or not even just creating, I won't limit it or just put a cap on that. But the internet, you know, it could be bad and good. You know, there's definitely yeah. some pros and some cons for sure. But the amount of information that's available that you can get is like huge. You know, you yeah. just got to make the like, actual effort and the time to go out there and get it. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. We talked about, like I said, the back, your background and everything coming up, the, that, that freaking, that grind of like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop this every week beats merch do you and then now like being in the creative space and and drop and then you being a part of that first episode one where you know creator is like all about you and all your beats what else do you see yourself getting into like you think about anything because you've been on a few podcasts before yeah. too right you don't think about getting into the podcast game too? <laughs> i've been you know what i've been thinking about it for like the last few weeks bro like yeah i see how beneficial a podcast yeah. can be just in in terms of you know, learning people's stories, the mm. networking and all that other kind of stuff. Yeah. So maybe one day, bro, yeah, but yeah. I really have no idea. I've, you know, it's, it's I don't, um, it's a, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a pro podcaster either. You yep. feel me? Like, but I have people on and there's only been a select few people that I've had on. No disrespect for my, to my previous guests or anything like that. But there's been a select few that I've been like, bro, you got it too. Like you can, you could do this too. And I'll extend that one to you too. I'd mm. say you should, you know consider starting one too bro like you, everything you can do with the reach and you know how you could talk like i learned so much too just from not just i learned a lot more from myself too but from the people that i have on bro like the stories that i get to listen to the stories i get to share yeah. and um the similar like-minded people as well and also it teaches you or myself i would say how to engage more yeah. as far as communication because I, I didn't i didn't have the best communication skills growing up either you know but it it shows you how to like learn and talk and listen yeah. and actively listen you know what i'm saying so yeah it's definitely something you should probably trip out to <laughs> no man. most that bro like, yeah yeah i have been i know you've been hey bro i know you're busy shit, as fuck yeah. <laughs> you know but it's like man I, I do i do know the amount of work it yeah. takes for you to, to yeah. like bro if y'all see what how this man created the space it's crazy like I it's fine it. 
Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I try, I try, bro. I, it, you know, it's 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 a cool thing, though. I will say, though, it's it's. Um, I definitely get. What's the word I'm looking for? I feel I feel validated mm -hmm. on some stuff when I get to hear that from people like yourself. Yeah. There's a lot of people who are, um, you know, who who really really are creatives, artists, and um, visionaries too. I would say, and um, peers too, because a lot of people from the podcast game that reach out to and everything. And I do get that sense of validation when yeah. I when I when they tell me like, oh, like this that quality is there, or this does sound good, or you know, they give me props for, for a lot of stuff because there's times where it's it's times where it's like, I doubt this, sh I doubt this shit, like straight up, like bro, everybody has, yeah, that. like, like bro, weekly be, times, like bro. There's times where I feel like I can't make beats, yeah, like bro, I could, like even yesterday, bro, really, my beats were fucking trash that I was making <laughs> in the morning or in the afternoon, and yeah, I was yeah. just like, but you know, I still got over 200 receipts on my oh, website yeah. of, for sure. you know, what I'm saying just every now and then you are gonna feel like, man, like damn bro like you know is there it's just the ups and downs of yeah. you know following a passion that exactly. you know, ain't easy to get no that's the thing that's why I, like i think at the end of the day like i said as much as as much as i doubt my work and a lot of stuff and it's like is this really going anywhere or, or is that quality there because of course you know you're always going to critique yourself the most you're going to be your biggest critic yeah. you know what i mean you know what i'm saying so it's like it's easy to to nitpick and pick and choose like oh this didn't do that good or this didn't sound good with this and that but um when you get those type of validations or you get those props it does help out you know to be like okay all right you know i'm doing something right you yeah. know because in this crazy world you know we're just trying to navigate and find our place but um like i said there, it does feel good to be like okay all right i'm obviously doing something no nah, bro it's yeah. like looking around bro it's very easy to tell that like you care about this bro. yes like, for you sure know what i'm saying yeah, and, you know, no disrespect to anybody who, you know, isn't even on this level yet, but it's like, bro, like, it's clear how much work you put into this space yeah. and how much you care about your brand, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, regardless of what the numbers may look like now, bro, mm -hmm. I'm sure a few years from now, this yeah. shit's going to be booming and people going to be yeah. like, there's going to be people that you reached out to that are going to be, hey, bro, can I get on that pot? Because you don't yeah. have that reach, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And then they, you gonna remember? You gonna remember? Like, bro, I remember when you uh, yeah, left yeah. me on red a few years back, yep, bro. Yep, like, yep. Well, you know, you know, that's your decision to do what you want with that. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah, like bro. that that's gonna be it's just gonna be a full circle moment where people are like, damn, I shouldn't have slept on, bro. Yeah, nah, that's like I said, that's definitely a motivating thing. Mm -hmm. And like, just the way my again, the way my brain, my brain and my mind works, bro. It's like any little thing motivates me. You know, it's it's I don't need a lot, you know, because I motivate myself in a lot of stuff, and yeah. I'm a, I'm my biggest motivator. But um, any little, bro, I could have, I could wake up in a bad mood one day and I'll be like, I'm going to fucking, I could watch, like I said, just watch certain stuff on YouTube or, or listen to a, cer a certain song. Yep. And I'm like, I can't wait to get home and edit right now. No, you know what I mean? It's like, facts, bro. yeah. So those are those type of things that, that gets me going. But yeah, you should definitely get into, you know, looking into something like this, bro. Not I feel like bad. you, I feel like you specifically too would, you know, would, uh, would flourish and do good. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Appreciate that. Um, but y'all, we're getting ready to uh, wrap this up. Um, the time just goes flying on these. I just, nah, I generally, man, this was fun. Bro. Yeah, I, I like, well, yeah. I, I try to keep them at, at an hour and everything. But what else would you say um, you got cooking up without like necessarily giving away too much for a lot of stuff, bro? But like, what, like, what do you? What's at this point? What's your, like your biggest motivating like drive or your factor for for keeping going or for um, continue to keep going? Yeah. Right, number one, and number two is like. Where where do you see a lot of this stuff going, bro? Because, like I said, lo I mean, here in SAC, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna limit you to just SAC, yeah. but it's like you can have this platform and you, your reach right now with everything you got going on is it's gonna be like not to hype oh, you too nah, much or anything, but nah, it's bro, like it's, it's, gonna be it's blowing, blowing up, any man. day. It's blowing any day now, yeah. bro. Like yeah. I, like not even on no cocky shit, nothing yeah. like that, bro. I know how much work that I put in. I mm -hmm. know, you know, like. Uh, I'm not only doing this for myself, man. I'm trying mm -hmm. to put the homies in the, you know, right. good positions as well. Mm -hmm. um, like, it's only a matter of time. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I, I understand that. And I, I do understand, like, I think that's, like, the biggest takeaway from being a professional athlete or getting yeah. to be or becoming a professional athlete. Mm -hmm. You know how to be practical in order to get better at something. Mm. If there's one skill that I have, it's I know how to get better at something. That's, that's it. That's literally it. I yeah. don't I don't have no natural talent. Mm. Maybe besides, you know, like I feel like my natural talent is being able to communicate with anybody no matter who they are, where they're from. Mm. That I think that's my talent. Yeah. Um, but the main thing for me, bro, is like I don't really I don't mind starting all the way at the bottom. I don't mind being trash. Like mm. I know if I give it the amount 
that you know the yeah. detail the amount of time yeah in a matter of time i'm gonna be past everybody well dude you know what that is that's called for those of you that don't know that's called checking your ego too yeah. you know that's you being like yo i know what my value is i'm confident in this and that but i'm also not that naive or or my ego is not that high to understand that like there's growth and i can yeah. learn from this and everything you know so that's again bigot bigot what's the word i'm looking for bigot big in it of itself i don't know bro i'm still oh, learning words you know what i mean i'm still learning oh, 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 words oh, oh, oh. but um it goes back to like i said i think you can credit that credit that to just that having that guy grind in sports bro yep. you know that thing carry they, it carries over so much and um yeah so other than that like i said what else you got like cooking up man i've been saying i'm gonna drop a beat tape for the longest time bro oh, so okay I'm thinking like i know I, like the four-year mark is coming up. Mm -hmm. Can I make a beat tape within these next few weeks? Mm -hmm. Put Challenging, it out, you know, bro. Get, you know what I mean? Like, right, right, I'm going right. to challenge myself. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I yeah. do know I need to, and it yeah. is something that I do want to, you know, because uh, I don't want to be the typical producer who is just behind the scenes, right, right, um, not making any type of bread, you know what I mean? Right, like, right. It's very important to me that, you know, I kind of, like, I guess I got that confidence from, you know, professional sport or just playing sports as well. You know, in general. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in, you know, uh, my face is it's always out there. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, like I noticed a lot of producers tend to, you know, there, there's guys who may just only put clips of their songs out. You don't know mm -hmm. what they look like. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe they don't really like to talk to people like that. Mm. I like I, I you're out there. Yeah, like I'm I'm, there. I'm I'm gonna put myself out there. Yeah. Um I'm a any person I work with is gonna know like, oh Chim's about that he's about that shit. Like he sure. he works for anything that he has, not on no cocky shit, nothing like that. Like solid. I I'm solid with every single person. I treat mm -hmm. everybody with respect. I ain't got no poly like none of that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to work, get better sure. and get us paid. That and again, that's same thing, bro. Mm -hmm. Checking that ego, bro. That, we um I keep saying we, and I always say we because, like, it's everybody, like, collectively for a lot of stuff, you know. We love to see that, bro, you know, because yeah. there's, there's not a lot of that going on. I know there's a lot of people, you know what I mean, who are selfish with a lot of stuff and, you know, um, who won't put themselves out there, like, as much as you are, you yeah. know. Like, like again, it's, it's putting your face out there and it's doing that and showing it, you know, because to, to say it again, there's one thing to talk about it and it's another thing to, to put actions mm -hmm. behind those words and to physically see that, bro. That's oh, a big thing. It. Nah, big fat man. Ask any of the homies that I've worked with, yeah. any of the producers I've collabed with. Um, every single person that I have brought work to, I'm mm -hmm. always just trying to. I'm always trying to plug other people in with them, especially if I trust their work. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like I'm sure there's a bunch of people that I can probably help get to your, get to your podcast yeah, as well. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just very important for me. Like anybody that I work with, mm -hmm. that I can you know, be a value without even, I don't expect shit. I just want to help anybody that work with me win. That's anybody dope. who show love, bro, like, trust me, I'm, I'm going to look out for you. Super Some dope. Some type of way. Super dope, bro. Because people do it for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we need more people like you. Yeah. For sure. And we need more beats. Oh, okay. beats, beats side, coming. Yeah, the yeah. beats coming hard, bro. Um, But uh, yeah, bro, to just uh, to wrap up, man, just tell everybody where they can reach you, where they can find you. And um, yeah, all that. Yep. Uh, my Instagram is at chimchilla92, C H I M. C H I L L A 92. Uh, my beat store is called chimchillabeats.com. And my merch is available at keepyourchimup.com. You know, uh, the links in my bio, like you said, he's going to attach it at the bottom. But yeah, I appreciate everybody. Yeah, bro. I appreciate you, man. Attack, man. This was super dope. Yeah, man. Thank yes, you for sir. coming on. And um, yeah, this one's uh, this one meant a little more. Like I said, I, I, this is one that I've been wanting to get for a minute. So I appreciate you. Yes, bro. sir. It's all love. All right, y'all. So this has been another episode of the Hypocritical AF Podcast, man. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for the support. I hope y'all check everything out. Again, tap in with your boy because he's going to be blowing up big. Okay. Yeah, tap in with me before tap that price goes up, Tap in, y'all. All right, y'all stay safe. Peace.